we all know our birds birds are window to our natural world and they are all around us even in the busiest city if you go to dimapur guwahati or in your fields or in the forest birds are everywhere and there is no single spot on earth where you will not find birds so there is simply no excuse to see them more than that birds are also there in our art in our paintings in our culture and mythology in uttar pradesh madhya pradesh central india uh, saras cranes are uh, culturally very important and similarly the hornbills in northeast india many tribes of nagaland and in arunachal pradesh they have uh, stories of uh, hornbills folklores of hornbills so we have grown up learning about bird stories and that's how this festival uh, this bird count is all about where we are going to spread our joy of birding with others so it's going to be a four day event from 4th to 7th of november and uh, the idea is to popularize birding get new people interested in birding and there are various ways we can participate in this event so let's start with some of the ideas so what you can do so uh, let's say you want to participate this in this event and you need some tips here here are some tips you can conduct a public birding event so just if you alone or just take a friend with you and plan a small bird walk for a small group of people take them to the nearby field or a water body and if you have binoculars it is even more better just take them with you show them some birds uh, through the binoculars and uh, if you know what a field guide is um, field guide is a bird book which has illustration of all the birds that are found in india or birds that are found in your area so once you look at the birds you can actually then look in the field guide and see if your birds match uh, birds the birds that you saw whether it is there in the field guide and how it looks like but in case if you do not have a field guide there is also a app these days we have apps for everything so why not for birds so there is a very nice useful app by the cornell lab of ornithology in the uh, united states and this app is a free app called the merlin bird id app we will uh, soon share a small video which will tell you how to use the app and once you download the app the app will ask you a few questions what size your bird was what were the colors where you saw it a few four five questions and it can give you suggestions on what you might have seen so that's again a very exciting thing so when you take people out for birding and they see a bird all you do is open the app and answer a few questions and the app will give you the suggestion and if you are if if your team is more interested if you are more interested you can also list down you can make a list of birds that you saw so that's one way you can conduct a bird walk take a group of people uh, any of the days that you are free since it's friday saturday sunday monday you can you do it either all four days take different groups for bird walks or you can whenever you have time you can do that second thing you can do is you can talk about birds and uh, you can do this with uh, connecting with a local school or a college or if there is a nature club or a eco club we can help you put a powerpoint presentation together and there are also videos on how to use the presentation otherwise it's very simple you can use our presentation you can show that presentation to a bunch of people a bunch of, bunch of school kids and um, if you have a, any do documentary on birds or you have some nice videos there are so many beautiful videos on birds and their bird behavior you can show those videos and get ex some excitement going on in the group and after uh, you have conducted that presentation take them out on a small walk take a short uh, some 15 20 minutes bird walk you can even if you show them two or three species they will actually be able to connect with the uh, with birds kids are a great way kids are uh, simply enjoy being outdoors and events like this are a great way great opportunity to get them more excited about birds now there is a website called earlybird.in and i'm going to take you through the website and there are plenty of things which you can either 
played online like interactive posters which i'll show you there are plenty of games that you can just take printouts of and you can take uh, play the game within the college campus or just outdoors and uh, there are also other things but i think we do not have time for that but in future if you want to get more games or you know booklets on birds and all you can write to them and they can post it to you or you can write to us and we can uh, get it for you so let me just quickly uh, take you through the early bird website and show you where you can find these games uh, and up till now are there any questions please type it in the uh, chat box meanwhile i'll just have this thing sorted Okay, can you see my screen, Praveen? Yes. Okay, so this is the early bird website. And here, if you go on resources and English. So there are some uh, activities for these things. We need some time because you need to order these things. Uh, but if you are an eco club member or an educator or school teacher, uh, this is a great source of information to have in your library. And uh, yeah, here are all these games. These are all you can take it on A4 printouts on A4 size paper. And you can just play these games with children. It's a great way to get children excited about birds. And they also start looking at small, small things. Not only birds, they will look at leaves. They look at the uh, caterpillars. They look at nest if they come across. And then there are lots of uh, interactive posters. So if you just like click on any of the poster and click on the bird and the uh, the poster will give the call of the bird. So that's again a nice thing which you can show somebody on a mobile or on a laptop, which is again a great game. So there are lots of resources. So uh, you can make use of these resources and plan a birding activity in your region. Now, for those who are already birders, who have a fair bit of knowledge on birds, there is an interesting way to participate by documenting your birds. And let me just share my screen again. Now, how do you document? When I mean document, means write down, make a list of birds that you see. So no matter wherever you are, whether you're busy, whether you're at home, you're traveling, even when you're having a cup of tea in your, uh, on your terrace, on your backyard, just watch birds for 15 minutes, minimum of 15 minutes. Write down the date, time, uh, what kind of birds you saw. You can use the Merlin Bird ID app if you, if you don't know the bird name, but you've seen the bird and you, the, you know the size and the colors and all. Just try the Merlin Bird ID app. And uh, once you know the name of the bird, you can add it to another app called eBird. eBird.org slash India. There is a webinar recording which I will share with you. And it can tell you how to use the app to record your birds. And uh, if you do not want to use the app, that's fine. Just a notebook entry will be nice. And uh, you can just record your observations. Now, if this activity of recording your observations. If you do it systematically, uh, over a period of time, you would be able to actually see that how the birds are changing every season, how the, uh, what kind of new birds are coming in, what kind of birds are not being seen at a particular season. So documenting, documenting birds is again an important part of this birding event. Then there are a lot of resources. We will share some uh, videos, YouTube videos, some webinar recordings. And if you need any kind of help in putting some activity together, just let us know. You can email us or you can uh, put it in the WhatsApp group and we will try our best to put things together for you to celebrate this event. And uh, yes, uh, there are more interesting things. If you are, if you want to get interested in this hobby, there are a bunch of articles on Bird Count India website. 
and these articles can actually take you uh, in a systematic way how you can start watching birds. And lastly, for all the nature enthusiasts and all the new birders in this group, we would uh, request you to subscribe to this newsletter, e-newsletter called The Flock. And once you subscribe, every month you will get a newsletter in your email, which will actually tell you what is happening, what kind of birding activities, what kind of birding related uh, events are happening in India.